हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम मिस्टर संजय के भड़के प्रेजेंटली वर्किंग एज ए असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग तुलसीराम जी गायकवा पाटिल कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नागपुर फ्रेंड्स एज आवर सब्जेक्ट इज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग वन एंड टूडेज और टॉपिक इज ग्रुप इंडेक्स मेथड इन लास्ट क्लास we have discussed about the various <coughs> design of flexible pavement rigid pavement we are also discuss about the <coughs> various highway failure in today's class we are going to discuss about the group index method and we know that this uh, group indexing is one of the important factor uh, when we are going to construct various types of pavements so basically the classification system is termed as aashto system and the second one is uscs system the this both classification is related with the classification of soil classification of clay and other classification which are, which are useful for the construction of various types of highways and roadways now what do you mean by aashto system the aashto system is the american association of state highway and transportation official the uscs system is the unified soil classification system and these both the systems are very essential for any type of soil testings or clay testings we know that soil is the nature really exists separately as gravel sand slate clay or organic material but are usually found as a mixture with varying properties of these components students just take an natural example of soil basically soil has been classified in many categories and for every soil there is various properties every soil material or clay material have different chemical and physical properties and we never find only soil in the nature always we know that soil is the mixtures of gravel or sand slate or any organic material so if we want a pure soil for the construction we should classify the soil and for the classification we are using this asto system and uscs system the classification of soil into group with similar behavior in terms of simple indices can be provide a geotechnical engineers a general guidance about the engineering properties of the soil through the accumulated experience two commonly used system for classification soils are based on the particle distribution and atterberg limits basically it is always important for a geotechnical engineer that there should be the proper classification of soil once we understand the chemical and physical properties of the soil then we can decide how this soil can be useful for the road construction and basically we know that the soil is based on the following two parameters number 1 is particle distribution and number 2 is atberg limits and all the general guidelines about this classifications are available with our is codes so basically for the dip classification we are using uh, these two methods now we are going to discuss about the aashto soil classification we know that aashto soil classification are first introduced in america and according to this uh, aashto system of soil classification it was developed by hog togler and Targis in 1929 as the public road 
administration classification system it is has undergoes in server revision with the present version produced by the committee of classification of material for subgrades and granule type roads of the highway research board in 1945 which may be classified as a astm uh, des designation a part number d3282 ASSTO method M145. So this is the dip about the ASSTO classification, which has been started in America by a great scientist Targis in nineteen twenty nine, and after that some modification has been made, and this uh, system has been uh, make again clear with adding some uh, research board uh, suggestions. Uh, in nineteen forty five, uh, we revised the system with a new technology like ASTM designation with uh, D three two eight two uh, ASH two method of M one forty five. This system is based on the following three soil properties. According to this system, we can classify the soil on following three properties. Number one is particle size distribution. Which can be classified as a ASSTO T11 and ASSTO T27 test. So this way, there is it is very important that particle size uh, distribution should be there. The second level is the point is liquid limit. We know that liquid limit and plasticity index is one of the important factor in the geotechnical engineering, and on this basis we can classify the soil. So second one is the liquid limit, uh, uh, which undergoes the ASTO T eighty nine test. Third one is the plasticity index, uh, which undergoes the ASSTO T nineteen test. So this way, uh, uh, we can classify the uh, this uh, particles or soil materials in following three points. I am again repeating. One is particle size distribution. Second one is the liquid limit, and third one is the uh, plasticity index. Now we are going to discuss about the various key elements of the ASSTO soil classification. So these key elements include number one is the grain size, number two is a plasticity, and number three is the groups. So what this grain size include? It includes the gravels, sand, and slate. Gravels, the fraction which passing through seventy five mm sieve and retain to five ten two mm US sieve is termed as the gravels as per the ASSTO soil classification. Sand fraction passing through the five ten sieve and retain to five two hundred sieve. is <clears throat> term as the sand as per the ASSTO soil classification the slate and clay the fraction passing through 5200 sieve is term as the slate and clay classification then second key element is the plasticity term slate is applied when fine fraction have pi less to 10 Term clay is applied when fine fraction have pi greater than eleven. Then how the these groups are useful? Soils are classified into eight group and they are classified as A one through A eight. The major groups are A one, A two, A three represent the coarse grain soil. The A four, A five, A six. And A seven represent the fine grain soil, and eight are identified by the uh, visual infection. So this way, we classified the soil in various categories like A one to A eight. So here is this is the formula to calculate the group index, and we know that group index is one of the important factor. to evaluate the quality of the soil as a highway subgrade material one must incorporate a number called the group index gi with the group and subgroups of the soil this index is written in the 
in the parents after the group or subgroup designation the group index is given by the equation so you can see here this group index can be classified by using this formula where gi is equal to f 200 minus 35 multiply by in the bracket 0.2 plus 0 0.5 ll minus 40 plus 0 0.01 f 200 minus 15 into pi minus 10 so we are going to use this formula to calculate the group index which is very important in terms of evaluation of quality of soil so according to the asho soil classification system the higher of the value of gi is the weaker will be the soil and the vice versa thus quality of performance of the soil as a subgrade matrix is inversely proportional to the gi a soil having the GI of 0 is considered as the best. If the equation gives the negative value of GI, consider it's 0. Always round up the GI to nearest uh, whole number. And if GI is the 0 for the soil of group A1, A1B, A24, A25 and A3, and for the group A26 and A27, use partial GI for the PI only. So these are the various notification which can be given by the AS, uh, ASSTO for the use of GI. Here you can uh, see this is the uh, various chart uh, provided by the AST show and which shows the various classification of the uh, soil which can be classified in the group like A1 to A8. Uh, here we can uh, see the various uh, uh, sieve analysis uh, parameters. Also we can see the characterization of fraction and uh, usual types of significant constitution material. Here also we can grade the material like general subgrade rating and excellent to good. So this, uh, this type of classification of highway subgrade material plays an important role and which is very useful to find out the various chemical and physical properties of the soil. Now ASTO soil classification can be classified as a group A1, group A2 and they can be uh, defined like this. The group A1, the typical material of this group is well grade mixture of the stone fragments or gravels, coarse sand and fine sand. So all type of coarse sand, fine sand and non-plastic or uh, other slight plastic material will be introduced in group number A1. The subgroups are A1A and A1B which include the various fragments of gravel either with or without well graded binder or fine material. It also include those material consisting the predominantly of coarse sand with or without well grade soil binder. So student we should know the what type of description of groups and subgroups are available here which is much important for the road construction. So this way there is the description of group number A3. The typical material of this group is fine beach sand or fine desert blue sand without slitty or clay fines or with a small amount of non-plastic slit. This group includes also a stream deposited mixture of purely graded fine sand and limited amounts of coarse sand and gravels. The group A2 uh, normally it is related with the a granule material uh, which can be classified like A1 to A7 and it also include any material not more than the 35% of which passes through 5200 sieve and which cannot be classified as A1 or A3 because of having fine constant of plasticity or both in excess of the limitation of this group. Uh, group A4 this typical material of this group is non-plastic or moderately plastic slit soil, 75% or more of which usually passes to uh, 5200 sieve. 
the group 5 this is the typical material of this group is similar to that described under group a4 and group c is the typical material of this group is plastically clay soil 75% or more of which usually passes through 5200 sieve so student this way we are uh, doing the classification of various soil in various groups like way we have the group a7 we have the sub group like a7 5 a7 6 and group 8 the group 8 is the typical material of this group is peat and muck soil ordinarily found in obviously unstable areas so why we are made this group like group a1 to group 8 we know that the soil is available in uh, with a various chemical and uh, physical property the appearance of each soil is different their properties are different so we should make their classification properly so that we have this group from a1 to a so that one can understand which type of soil we should use and it's also help to know the various chemical and physical properties and it will be easy for the a geotechnical engineer to perform the various, various research work on this soil now we have to discuss on the unfined soil classification system which is called as the uscs the unfined soil classification system was first developed by the professor a casgrain in 1942 and the system is again modified in 1969 with the american society for the testing material the uscs is based on the recognition of type and predominance of the constitution concerning the grain size graduation plasticity and compressibility <clears throat> it classifies the soil into four major categories here soil can be classified as a coarse grain fine grain organic soil and pit so here we can see the classification of aasto is different and classification by uscs is different and we should be in position that we can differentiate this two classification so that we can understand the various properties of the soil so here you can uh, see how this unfined soil classification system is work here on the major scale it can be differentiated as a boulder cobbles gravel sand slit and clay and also they have giving some aspect uh, on that basis we can classify the soil if 5% or more of the soil passes through 5200 sieve then conduct at work limit is present if the soil is fine grained less than or equal to 50% passes through 500 sieve follow the guideline for the fine grained soil so these are the various classification uh, which can be important for the uh, uh, understanding the soil characteristics and we are using this classification as per the requirement here you can uh, see the various symbols of unfined soil classification system uh, where we can use the symbol of g for the gravel symbol of s for the sand symbol of m for the slate symbol of c for the clay o for the organic and pt for the pit and also you can see uh, various symbols like w stand for well graded uh, p stand for poorly graded we have another symbol like sw well graded sand sc clay sand sm slaty sand mh elasticity sand the group symbol for coarse grained gravelly soils are gw gp gm gc and the group symbol for the fine grained soil are cl ml ol and ch so student 
uh, you should remember all this symbol so that uh, we can use this classification system uh, freely and frankly and you can understand uh, how it can work now in uscs there is also classification of organic soil and this organic soil can be classified as a organic clay or a slit and highly organic clay or a peat if the soil liquid limit after oven drying is less than 70% then it is called as a organic clay and in case of highly organic soil a sample composed primarily of a uh, vegetable tissue in various stage of the decomposition and has a fibers to atmospheric textures a dark brown to the black color and an organic order should be designated as a highly organic soil and shall be classified as a peat <coughs> these are the some another classification where we can classify it as a coarse grain soil with 5% to 12% fine then fine grade soil with the limit within the shaded zone then soil content similar fine and uh, coarse grain fraction so all these classification we should uh, study and we should understand these are the some uh, borderline uh, cases uh, which we can understand under the uh, uscs i we should note that only two group symbols may be used to describe a soil uh, borderline classification and can exist within each of the above group so here you can see <coughs> Uh, the gravels and uh, sands are shown with their uh, notification and one measuring scale is there uh, which can be broadly used for the uh, uscs classification so student uh, this way uh, today we have discussed about the uh, various classification which is related with the as sto and uscs and to know the various chemical and physical of properties of the soil we should understand this classification and this classification may help for the geotechnical engineer on a uh, broad scale i hope you understand this uh, group index method thank you thank you very much